healthy diet is a varied one, as we require many different nutrients from the food we eat. These foods are broken down and absorbed by our digestive system. For example, proteins being broken down into amino acids, carbohydrates being broken down into simple sugars, and fats being broken down into fatty acids and glycerol, all of which are needed for a healthy body. This video looks at a group of foods that claim to give health benefits beyond the nutritional value of their food. They are known as functional foods. There are three types of functional foods we will look at in this video. Probiotics, prebiotics and plant stanol esters. We will look at what the claimed benefits of each are and also examine how much evidence there is to back up these claims. Firstly, let's look at probiotics. If we think back to our work on the digestive system, we'll remember that our small intestine contained a huge number of bacteria that helped break down our food so that it was more easily absorbed. A probiotic is a live culture of these bacteria, mainly bifidobacteria and lactobacillus. The idea is to increase the quantity and quality of the bacteria living in your small intestine so that your digestive system can work more efficiently. They also claim to make you more resistant to infection, the theory being that they prevent pathogenic bacteria being able to colonize your digestive system as easily. Prebiotics are oligosaccharides taken as food for your probiotic bacteria. Oligosaccharides are a type of sugar that humans are unable to digest themselves but they are the source of nutrition for the probiotic bacteria living in the digestive system. The intended benefits of taking prebiotics are the same as probiotics, as the idea here is that by including this nutrition for the useful bacteria, they will increase in number in your gut. Currently, there is some dispute over the effectiveness of pro and prebiotics. Because they are not classed as medicines, companies do not need the same level of evidence in order to make claims about the benefits of taking them. There is currently only weak evidence that probiotics and prebiotics are beneficial to people who are otherwise healthy and consuming a balanced diet. In contrast, the third group of functional foods we will look at have a far greater body of evidence supporting their health claims. High cholesterol levels in the blood are known to increase the risk of heart attacks, strokes and other cardiovascular diseases. They are found in meat and other animal products such as cheese and eggs. High cholesterol levels can be managed through diet or drugs. And another way of reducing their levels in the body is by consuming plant stanol esters. These work by preventing the cholesterol being absorbed by the intestines. The cholesterol then stays in the alimentary canal until it passes all the way through and is removed from the body as faeces. So, functional foods are foods that claim to offer health benefits beyond their nutritional value. Probiotics are cultures of live bacteria that are meant to supplement your intestinal bacteria to support your digestive system and reduce infections. Prebiotics are oligosaccharides which are nutrition for the probiotic bacteria, increasing their effect. The evidence for either of these is currently weak. Plant stanol esters work by reducing the amount of cholesterol the body is able to absorb. The evidence for these working is strong.